Today is Monday, April 6, 2020, the Monday of Holy Week. Even in this reflection, as I invite you to step outside to see the sunshine of today, we remind you that while you step outside, that that's only within your yards or your sidewalk, and to remain within your home for the well being and the sake of yourself as well as your neighbors. For truly, that's the greatest commandment to love your neighbor as yourself. And that includes keeping your neighbor's safety in the forefront of your mind. With that being said, we begin this day with just a moment of silence, reflecting on those who have lost lives, now estimates in the US at nearly 10,000 and estimates worldwide at 70 plus thousand. We remember those doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals, those out in the front lines of essential services, those who, because of the work they do, are exposing themselves. Thank you. Remember families grieving, and remember those who are isolated and afraid and alone. And for all of this, we pause for a moment beneath the cross of Jesus to welcome God's presence. This evening, we invite you to join with Moravians and others around our country and indeed around the world as they join together for the readings for Holy Week. This will be found at 8 p.m. if you go to www.moravian.org. You can look for a Zoom link to join the readings for Holy Week, a Moravian tradition, each evening. Instead, today, this brief video will pause for a moment of music and then reflection upon some of the readings of today. Tune back tomorrow to this YouTube channel for a further reflection on the events of Tuesday. But as we begin, we begin with the hymn Beneath the Cross of Jesus the last lyrics in this are that I asked no other sunshine than the sunshine of your face. May we know no gain only than your glory and your love, which you took for us beneath that cross, beneath the cross of Jesus. Today, April 6th, Monday, our Holy Week journey continues as we walk farther towards the cross. Today we awaken to a beautiful day outside, and yet most of us are inside. 
We are inside because that is the best thing to do. We are inside, but we are not abandoned. Some of us will go outside today. Maybe because it is our duty. We are deemed essential. And we are grateful for those. We pray that the God of hope and peace and abiding presence may be with those who are going out today. The healthcare workers and those on the front lines in grocery stores, those essential workers in our government and our support systems, those in financial industries, and those who need to go out for medical reasons or to make that once trip to a grocery store. Many of us are in, but way may we come out of our doors into our yards at least, into a sidewalk, into an area around us. May we come out and look and be still for just a moment and so be filled with the hope and the abiding presence of God's peace. Today when we come out, what do we see? Look around. Listen and hope in wonder. Lent darkness from the pattern of our days, edited by Kathy Galloway. Dragons lurk in desert places, penetrating the mind with evil claw. Shepherds' teeth sink out chinks, insidiously, relentlessly gnawing on the bone, searching out the connections of muscle and sinew. Such is the pain of the wilderness alone, alone, Christ sits in the waste place of abandoned pleas and questions until exhausted. Finally, at last, the realization comes that in the end there is only God. And so in the nighttime of our fears, in the present reality of abandonment, when friends and family turn and run, or we might add are isolated, be present, ever present God. Be present with those camped out in the fields of hopelessness, with refugees and the homeless, with those who live lives of quiet desperation. Be present until the desert places blossom like the rose and hope is born again. May this hope flow over us and around us May this hope shadow us and envelop us. May this hope remind us on Monday that as we read from our readings for Holy Week, Jesus came into the temple and he overturned those tables that the money changers were at. And in doing so, he proclaimed, there is God here. There is God asking for justice. That our temples are no longer gathering places, but rather they are the connections between people and the ways that we operate in this world of seeking justice and seeking love and working for compassion between all brothers and sisters. It was a symbolic action, much like the action of demanding a fig tree to blossom and bear fruit in a season when there was no fruit. And yet, as it was doing this, as he was doing this, he was asking us to make our lives blossom wherever we are in whatever space God has given us. So Lord, today, if doors are closed and 
we feel shut inside, allow us to leave for a bit, to go out and to find that ray of hope and sunshine, to go out and to demand justice for those who are working so hard physically, but to go out and to find your compassion that still resides within each and every one of us, knowing that hope abides and that we are called to bear fruit and witness to it. This Holy Monday on the walk towards the cross, may we remember with great hope the promise of your presence and the assurance that we never walk alone. As the sun rises today, may the sun rise in our lives, today and forevermore.